Hey everybody, welcome to our cool catfishing, trolling, drifting, and jugging adventure. We're going to do it all today, so sit back and ride. Enjoy! This canoe is equipped with many outrigger stabilizers and an electric trolling motor. Hey, Brienne! <laughs> We got one, Brett. Oh, yeah. We got one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's coming up. It's pulling. What we got there, Bip? It's getting up under the trolling motor. <laughs> Don't want that. Oh, nice one. Look at that. Hmm. A little bit of jug fishing. This is all you need to jug. Put your name on it. A little bit of line and a hook. Now here's my secret when it's windy. I'm going to put a little bit of water into it. That'll keep the wind from blowing it off the lake like a speed racer. So you just cap it. Bait it. And toss it. Got another one, Brett. What do you think, huh? <laughs> That's what I think. Well, uh, One-handed fish in here. Okay, we can stand up because we got pontoon stabilizers. There's our catfish. Yeah. What do you think, Brett? Catfish. Catfish. <laughs> Alright. Uh, hey, don't you splash me, fish. I ain't taking off again, huh? Alright. Uh-oh. Other one's got one on, too. Oh, we got another one. Double header. Woo -hoo. Tighten that drag down, Brittany. What do you think? Fish? Yeah, we got one on that pole. We just reeled in. Our jugs. They haven't got touched. So it's three fish to none on the jugs. Three fish for the planer bobbers. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Let's see here. Come on up, fish. We got to do the one handed reel today because we forgot the, our headset's not working too well. What do we got there? Hey, don't get tangled up on our drift sock. No, no, no. Come on, come on up there. Oh yeah, there's another channel cat. Hey, don't you get me wet. <laughs> there he is. He's a little bit bigger than the other one. Haven't got any real big ones yet, do we, Britt? There it is. Cleaner bobber catfishes, two of them. We've got two jugs, untouched, planer bobbers. Bing bang, bam bam, huh? <laughs> Let's get that other fish over here and have a look at him, huh? Reel him up, Eddie. Here he comes. Uh, yeah, 
there, see? Twin planer bobber catfishes. Uh -huh. Jugs, nothing. Three catfishes. Well, two right there. Jugs, nothing. So who's the winner here? Planer bobbers? We think so. Don't we, Britt? Yeah. There he is, Britt. <laughs> What do you think, Britt? Got the fish. Huh? See the fishy? Talk to us, fishy. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> Come on, fishy. What do you say, Britt? Bye, fishy. Your chase is on, Britt. The jug up there, standing up. Let's see what we got on there, huh? You think we got fish? Play, Britt. <laughs> Let's get him. Right, here he comes. Catfish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I see that's all you need is a jug, some string, a weight, a piece of shad. You're jug fishing, right, Brittany? Let's see what we got there. Oh, he's a nice eater, huh? Uh huh. A couple pounds. Two, three pounder. Huh, Britt? What do you think? Oh, he's talking. You're a jug caught catfish. Yeah, you're pretty lippy. What do you think, Britt? Got a fly on your nose. <laughs> yeah, I know, it freaked me out too. <laughs> Look at that little thing. <laughs> uh, what do you think, Britt? Huh? Is he small? He's <laughs> laughing at it. Uh -huh, I don't blame you. <laughs> yeah, Jackson's suspicious. Should be fish on, Brett. Oh, yeah. He's doinking. That or it's a hungry turtle. What do you think, Brett? <laughs> fish or turtle? Let's find out. Looks like he's hooked. running from us. Let's get him, Brit. <laughs> we got trolling motor catfish. Oh, we're going to get your ass. <laughs> He's running. <laughs> Come here. Hmm. It's going to be difficult. All right, let's get him, Brett. <laughs> High speed. <laughs> Come back here, catfish. We can't answer the phone. We're busy. He's running. Let's try to get him on this side. Oh, he's smart. <laughs> hmm. Well, we didn't get to him, Grit. <laughs> this one-handed operation bites. <laughs> Let's see if we can get him in reverse, huh? 
Yeah, this is better. Come here, you. <laughs> I finally got him by backing up. That was one smart catfish. Things moving right along, isn't it, Brittany? As fast as it'll go. It's on high speed. Well, this thing's no slouch. Should it go? <laughs> I've seen a single turtle out today, Brittany. Look at all the turtles. Usually they're on the logs in the sunshine. <laughs> What do you say? No turtles? No. I don't know why. You think they'd be out there everywhere. We caught a bunch of catfish, didn't we, doggy? Did you catch one? We even caught a giant crappie. It's too bad we don't eat those buggers. <laughs> Somebody would have liked to have all those fish, but. They're all back in the lake and somebody else can catch them now. We got our pontoons out. We haven't had to use that paddle except to push off with since we got our trolling motor on here. Man, we're booking. <laughs> A lot of fun now, Brittany. I mean, it was fun before paddling, but boy, it's fun now. Wee! Wonder if we'll have enough power to get back, huh? Yeah, we've probably gone about mm, two or three miles under power of our little battery. Guys, so blue today. This is blue is blue. <laughs> we can't even compare to my foot. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cute little channel cat. Caught him on the jug. We never caught one that small on a planer bar yet. <laughs> it's always the first time in there, Britt. Huh? Look, you see him? What do you think that little sucker, huh? That little pecker? Look at the little pecker. Look at that. He ate our bait, too. Spinning around. It's the tiniest little catfish in the world right there. <laughs> Little channel cat. That wind picked up again. See, we got the sea anchor out. Acts just like a break. A big bag. It fills up with water. Take a look at it. It's got a little tiny opening in the other end of it. And that lets the water flow through and makes it stay open. There, see? It's got a little strap on the bottom there that you can pull to dump the water out if you want. Just let it pull out there. Give it a few 
few tugs. Should open right up. There it goes. It's opening up. Boom. Drift off. <laughs> it's the only way you can fish in this kind of wind. Okay, Brittany. Got a big old crappie on a jug. <laughs> Do you believe that? <laughs> we caught a crappie on a jug. Hmm? It's a first for me. <laughs> what do you think, Brett? Yeah, big fish, eh? Huh? Big crappie. Oh well. Bye, crappie. Sure, swimming, huh? You'll make it. <laughs> Thanks to our outriggers, or our pontoon stabilizers, Brittany's able to walk about the boat freely. It's a blue heron, Britt. It's a stork. <laughs> we bring the babies. See how close we can get before he takes off, huh? Bet you he wishes... He had those fishes that we had, huh? There's another one up there. There's a lot of them here. Elm Creek. He's fishing. Probably wants to catch him a dinner, huh? We should have saved our dinner and gave it to him, huh? He'd like that bait. You got one? Well, maybe not. You should try to get one. It's kind of scoping us out, Britt. Sees fish. Well, get him, mister. <laughs> Tell him, Britt. Get that fish. Well, he about dove in the water after that thing. <laughs> I wonder how many times they gotta try before they get one. This is so cool. We're so laid back in this boat. <laughs> Got our trolling motor. Just kicking back and cruising. Seeing the birds and the wildlife. It's been a good trip, Brett. Brittany. Yeah, she like it. She had the biggest bone, and then she dropped it in the water. She chewed on it for about an hour, and then, pow. <laughs> he lost that bone. That was a $3 bone, Brittany. Femur bone, ham femur bone. That was good too. I, I could have chewed on that. Well, I'll get you another one on the way back, okay? You want me to get you another one? You'd be happy? Yeah. You'll be happy. We're just cruising along, Brit. Checking out the nature's wonder. <laughs> nature's wonder. I guess we traveled about four or five miles. Battery's getting a little bit weak, but it's still pushing us along at a pretty good clip. I got one, Brittany. I think it's a big cat. That's not a cat. This is a cat. What you doing, Britt? I'm stalking the lake. Now hand me some more of that catnip bait. Come on, catfishing.
the redneck dog. Come on, y'all. We're gonna catch us all. Windy, Ooh -wee. It sure is a windy day. We're pretty confident we can show you how you can catch fish in uh, rough waves and wind. No problem. Just got to have the right tools and the right mindset. Hat. We got our first fish on. We're fishing with planer bobbers and cut shad. Winds out of the north about 20 to 25 miles per hour. Making fishing what some would think, well, pretty much impossible. We're using a small drift sock, or what some would call a sea anchor, to slow us down in the wind. Otherwise, we'd be just totally blown off the lake. But this thing will sure even the odds. Get one at your local marine store for about 25 or 30 bucks. It's a must have if you're going to fish some high wind. <laughs> he jumped. <laughs> Did you see him jump, Brett? You weren't looking the wrong way. <laughs> the fucker jumped. <laughs> he jumped. He's just not that little. fat he is, Britt. Big old redneck dog. Are you a redneck fishing dog? Look what we got. Got catfish. I'm using a 5 aught circle hook. Like I said before, we're using cut shads. I'm using the heads and the guts section of it. He's about the size of your hand, the bait, maybe the size of your palm. Our speed, even with the drift sock, and I'm also using a trolling motor to kind of control the drift a little bit. Uh, I would still say it'd be about a half a mile an hour to three quarters of a mile an hour. Our outriggers help make our canoe a lot more stable of a fishing platform. And they also incorporated some nifty rod holders, too. The secret of catching catfish? It's the same all the time. You find out where they're feeding. Normally it's on a shallow flat. It's near deep water. Get you some planer bobbers. Just a big old heavy bobber. Tell you some shad through there. About three quarters of a mile an hour. Half mile an hour. You'll be in business. Just keep it moving slow. You <laughs> <laughs> like Homer Pyle. <laughs> Shazam! Or bobber fishing it's just like jug fishing but it's a lot more fun because like you know when your jug goes down you gotta chase it down when planer bobber goes down buddy your rod bends and you got a fish on and so that's a big difference there generally i fish them about three to five feet down depending on the depth of the water most of the places i'm fishing are about three to five feet deep Jug fishing has caught fish way bigger than the world record. Just think what a planer bobber can do. Get you a couple. Get out there and nail some big ones. Get him this time. 
Planer bobbers are better than fishing with jugs. That's not ever happened to me yet with the uh, planer bobber. <laughs> got a rod going down here. We got a rod going down. It's on. Creek for here. Catching a nice catfish. Oh yeah. Let's get the net. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh I think he just figured out he's hooked. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Mr. Catfish. Ooh. Oh yeah, he's a good one. Let's get that net. That's a fish. Woo! Yeah, come here, baby. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, whoa, look at that one, Katie. Wow. Oh, that's a good one. Let's get a scale. See what this sucker weighs, huh? It weighs seven and a half pounds. Woo! Pretty good. Oh, yeah. Mm, nice little fat catfish. Biggest one of the night so far. Hadn't even got dark yet. Come on out of there, you. Uh oh, oh, he's loose. He's loose. Oh, he's fat. Oh, look at that big old fat sucker. <laughs> so long. <laughs> yeah, good fish. 